Welcome to Getting Started with Ansible. I'm Ben Lambert, and I'll be your instructor for this course. The goal of this course is to get you started using Ansible. This isn't going to be a deep dive. By the end of this course, you're not going to know everything that there is to know about Ansible. However, it will cover enough to help you get started using Ansible to automate common tasks. Ansible is an automation engine that can automate the creation of infrastructure as well as provisioning servers and more. Because it allows you to automate these sorts of things, you're going to already need to understand these things before taking this course. Ansible uses a data serialization language as an abstraction layer between you and the underlying code. And that means you don't necessarily need to be an expert developer, though you will need to understand concepts such as variables, conditionals, and loops, etc. So this course is intended for people with development experience, and to get the most out of Ansible, you'll also need to have some operational experience. If your role is something like a site reliability engineer or a DevOps engineer, then this course is probably the course for you. Here's our agenda for this course. The first lesson will cover an overview of what Ansible is. Then I'll cover an overview of the high level Ansible concepts. After that, I'll go over the installation process, followed by Ansible's inventory system. Then I'll cover configuring a Windows server so that Ansible can connect to it. After that, I'll cover what modules are. Then I'll explain the anatomy of a playbook. I'll cover handlers, facts, variables, and templates, followed by roles. And then I'll cover errors and debugging. And then I'll wrap up with some next steps. So that's a lot to cover. And if you're ready to learn more about Ansible, then let's get started with the first lesson.